a friend of mine asked for some advice and um and I'm gonna show you guys the text message. And I wanted to, I felt I wanted to show you guys this because the same question that they asked me that I feel like is the same thing that like a lot of people are going through. And I was so thankful, glory to God, that she asked me this question when she did, because like a month ago, I wouldn't have been able to answer it. And I just had, you know, you know, learned more about this. So I but I feel like a lot of y'all struggle with the same question. So I want to ask you this. and I'm just in this video. But um, yeah, I was just saying that the more and more I've grown, this is the, the best advice I give you. I recently learned this. So to kind of decide like, you know, if you're in decision, right? If you have a path based on like the text I read, let me know if I'm mistaken where you have a decision to make, right? Where I guess you have a, a option over here and an option over here. You need to know which one to go to. Um, there's just kind of a few questions that kind of ask yourself, right? Like, where does God want me to go? I think a lot of times it's, um, Right. We need one. Obviously, we need to pray for all decisions. Right. But a lot of times we make we we have this thinking that like, um, well, God, like, which one do you want me to go to? Right. Like, God, which one do you want me to go to? Like, if I go here, I don't want to make the wrong choice. Like, I want to be where you want me to be. And so the initially. Right. You're going to ask yourself, you know, which one comes with the you know, you're going to pray about it. Right. And you're going to ask yourself a few questions like, OK, which one gives me peace? Right. Like forget like which one may appeal better which one may you know seem better like which one that i got you know i that comes with true peace right when i close my eye i could be like you know what i am peaceful with decision because god is not a god of confusion he's peace right so god's not going to tell you something where it's not peaceful right now when i mean peaceful i'm not saying that when you make that decision like it's going to be easy right or it's going to be most comfortable because a lot of times if god's trying to grow you into something it's not going to be comfortable right it's going to be trying it's going to have some hard moments no one said it's going to be easy but god has a purpose right so you're going to pick the one that has the most peace right and then you have to ask yourself is also like does this decision glorify god in some ways or glorifies me because if it glorifies me then that's you know that's me making a decision right but if it glorifies god right then that's what god want you know what i'm saying so that's some th the first things i'm asking myself but let's say you do that you still don't have an answer right the next thing I'm doing is like, okay, fine. All right. Like God, like I feel that like I don't, I genuinely don't know. I did all that. I don't know. I think a lot of times we think, all right, this is story. And I'm going to wrap this up. This is too long of a video, but there's a story, right? A child, there's a child who goes off to college, right? And the child goes off to college and he, and he's, uh, he asks his dad, right? Like dad, all right, what do you want me to major in? Dad, I just want to fulfill your will. Dad, I just want to do what you want. Like which one can make you happy? And the dad tells the son, he's like, I have raised you to make these decisions yourself, not for me to make these decisions for you. Now, when you were a child, I made these decisions for you, but now I raised you to, for you to make these own decisions. And, you know, the dad was with him regardless. So whatever decision you make, God is with you regardless. So there is no, if whatever, this, if you know, if you genuinely don't know, right, if you prayed about it and you got in the word and you ask people and you don't know, like, there's no worries. There is no wrong one. It's not like God's going to abandon you, whatever one. Like, God's with you regardless, right? And as long as you continue to serve him and, you know, live righteous Lord to him, you'll have a favor, you know, favor on you wherever you go, right? And whatever decision you make, it may not be the, you know, there's going to come times where you look back at like, ah, is this what I should have done? Is this, you know, is this, you know, the right thing to do? But nah, uh, as long as you continue, if you honestly just seek him, you know, seek ye kingdom first and all things to be added on to you. And, you know, that's uh, that's going to honestly serve a purpose, right? God's not going to leave you in vain, whatever decision you make. So hope that helps.